Hey there everyone, it's Susie Shock, and I am gonna go over the bandhas with you. I'm gonna go over the three major bandhas. One is the Mula Bandha, which is in the first chakra, the base of the spine. The second one is the Uddiyana Bandha, which is in the navel center. And the third one is the Jalandhara Bandha in the throat chakra. So bandhas I look at as energetic seals, right? Um, they are like a concentrated muscular contraction, if that makes sense, um, which temporarily restricts the blood flow. Um, and if you think of it energetically, it's like a purification of that area um, when you have that constriction, right? Um, it removes blockages um, of energy flow. Um, it redirects the energy flow from energy rich areas to um, energy deficits. Um, it stimulates the chakras and it also helps to balance the chakras. Um, in terms of physically what it does, when you think of your physical practice of yoga, um, by stabilizing and doing these bandhas, because it's an energy or it's a um, muscular contraction, it helps to stabilize through the whole lower body, right? We're doing the first and second, um, the mula bandha and the um, uddiyana bandha. It's very stabilizing for all of your standing postures, even your seated postures. Um, so additionally, it helps to kind of bolster circulation, um, it increases blood flow to the area when you constrict and then release, um, it flushes out dead cells, and um, it rejuvenates and strengthens the organs around it. All right, so first of all, I want to go through the Ujjayi Pranayama because um, Ujjayi Pranayama is a, it's a nice way to move the, the prana through the body with control. It's breath control, right? It's called breath of fire. Um, so it has the sound of fogging up a mirror. So let's just start by, it's a little constriction in the back of the throat. So let's start there. So just breathing with your mouth open like you're trying to fog up a mirror. So it's Now take the lips to touch and make that same sound. So keep going on that. Now let's bring our fingers around our rib cage because it's a diaphragmatic breath, right? You will have the Mula Bandha and the Uddiyana Bandha um, activated as you are doing Ujjayi Pranayama. So breathing in and out through the nose. And with your fingers there, you can actually feel the rib cage separating. And you can see it on my rib cage. So you can get a really beautiful full breath in and out. Perfect. Okay, so now let's move on to the Mula Bandha. So the Mula Bandha, like I said, it's a constriction of the perineum muscles, right? So it's a pulling in and a lifting up. So can you notice the difference in my posture when I release it? I just kind of sink back down. So what I'm doing <clears throat> is I'm pulling up um, the perineum muscle, I'm lifting and then pulling in, or pulling in and lifting, either way, right? So what it feels like for a woman or a female is a Kegel exercise, right? And for men, it's like um, stopping the flow of urine, right? So it's just that nice little constriction. And we notice how lifted up I got and my posture feels really beautifully supported. All right, now for the Uddiyana Bandha, I just want your hands to go here and cough. <coughs> you can feel the transverse abdominals um, firing when you cough. And those are the muscles that are pulling in and pulling up for the Uddiyana Bandha, right? So you've got the Mula Bandha lift, you've got the Uddiyana Bandha lift, and what it's doing is it's slowly pulling the prana up in through the heart center. So you've got all this beautiful prana moving through heart center and then up into the throat. And to engage the um, Jalandhara Bandha, <clears throat> I pull it up and up and then I breathe up and I lift up and open. And I let that prana go up <clears throat> all the way through the third eye, out through the crown. I loop it back down. So the top of my inhale brings it up and out through the crown. 
And then I bring it down and I lock it in my throat. And I hold to comfort. And then I slowly release it back down and down and down and down to the first chakra and then I repeat. All right? So what I would love to do, I would love to get like the resonance of the earth to kind of move that life flow through the body. So let's do a nice little grounding breath um, to begin with. So think of the first chakra, just breathing into the first chakra. Take a deep breath in through the nose at um, Ujjayi Pranayama. Close your eyes if that feels good. Gentle exhale. Let's do three breaths, so two more. One more beautiful breath. Now we're gonna direct the breath from the first chakra down through the legs and into the feet. Exhale the air from the lungs. Gently inhale. And visualize the prana moving into the feet. Pause and hold. Passive exhale out. And now through both feet, we're going to Breathe the prana through the feet, like you're growing roots down into the earth or dropping an anchor and visualize it going through every single layer of the earth until you've connected with the crystalline core. So exhale the air from the lungs. Breathe it down. Passive exhale out. And then give a beautiful greeting to our beautiful Mother Earth. Gratitude. And then we're just going to reverse that flow, but this time we're going to bring it all the way up through the feet into the first chakra, and that's where we're going to do the first lock. So when you feel the prana moving up through the legs, you're gonna pull up on the perineum, pull in and up and lock. Okay, ready? Exhale the air from the lungs. Slowly inhale. Pull it in and up, seal it there. Pause and hold. And now we're gonna slowly pull it up and do the Uddiyana Bandha. So pulling it up from here. Remember diaphragmatic breath, pulling in and lifting up. Slowly bringing it into the throat, tipping the chin to the sky, let it go through the throat, up and out through the crown, and then seal it back. Hold the breath. And release it back down. And so you're slowly releasing the locks, bringing it down to the Mula Bandha. Good. All right, now I wanna add on to that. I wanna do two mudras. I wanna do the Triveni Mudra. So thumb to um, pointer finger, middle finger. And then I would like to do the Kachari Mudra as well. So that's bringing the tongue to the roof of the mouth. And think of the Kachari Mudra almost like a tuning fork that allows the prana to move up through the throat, through the tongue, through the pineal gland, up and out. And then it reverses that flow back down again. So we're locking as we're going up, holding in the Jaladhar Bandha, and then we're releasing as we go back down. And we're gonna do it three times. So we're gonna lock, lock, lock. And think of it going up the backside of the Shishuna, out through the crown. And when it comes back down, it's gonna lock on the front side through the Shiranadi, 
back down with the first chakra. All right, here we go. <laughs> so breathing into the first chakra, find that seal, and we're just gonna go boom, 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 up, and bring it back down. So exhale the air from the lungs. Good. Take an inhale, locking the first chakra, pulling it in and up, pulling the Mula Bandha, or the Uddiyana Bandha in. Breathe it all the way up. And again, locking Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, all the way up through the throat. Let it move up and out through the crown. And then like you're lifting up and sealing that prana right in through the throat. Pause and hold. And gently release it down. One more time. Beautiful. And you can continue that as often as you'd like. You can keep on going. Um, but yes, I think that that's just a really beautiful way to circulate the prana up the back side, down the front side, and just find some beautiful harmony and balance in all of your chakras. So I hope that was helpful. And um, just continue on. Continue practicing and have a beautiful day.